Hi guys, my name is Mia Jemsko and welcome to episode 4 of The Sims Mobile. Every day that you check into the game, you get some gifts of each of your Sims. So Fairy Dust has given us 15, are they XP points? Maybe XP points and Owen Sheldon, I'd completely forgotten his name then. Owen had given has given us 25 simoleons, so it's definitely worth checking into the game every day. I have been discovering loads of new things about the game since the last episode and I feel like I've got a little bit more knowledge on all things to do with Sims Mobile. So we've got our daily to-do list here which we should work through definitely to get the simoleons and the XP and then also if we complete them all we get a little cupcake which definitely we want to get as many things as possible. I have more of an understanding of the whole stories element to the game. If we take a look at the stories there are relationship, career and hobby stories that you can pick for your sims. And as you can see there are 17 relationship stories, there are 7 career stories and 5 hobby stories. Within the 17 different relationship stories there's sort of good, bad and like romantic, so like friendship ones such as there's a BFF one, so they're BFFs forever, there's Arch Nemesis. And there's also things like soulmates, tainted love, frenemies. So it's really cool and you can select different stories for your sims. And the same goes with the career and the hobby ones. But if we have a look at Owen Sheldon's stories, the stories that he is working on at the moment is he's got a career one out of the frying pan. And then hobbies, he hasn't got hobbies yet because we need to purchase a hobby item for him to be able to do that. Let's take a look at Fairy, let's call her over and we'll have a look at her. So the stories that she is working on is obviously she's a, she's a barista so her career story is the way of the latte and she is working on Tainted Love with that guy that we met in the second episode, I completely can't remember his name. But we could bring him over and we could work on that but I wanted to work on a relationship between Fairy and Owen I think in this episode. So to do that, if I just click on hit, they don't even know each other, oh my goodness, okay, like make a friendly introduction. I can't believe that they haven't even met. <laughs> Let's introduce them. We should do, should we do a friendship or should we do a romantic? I feel like maybe we'll do a romantic relationship. Let's start an event. Let's begin a friendship and start an event with them. So this event will finish in 30 minutes just on its own but we can speed it up obviously by using the different items and by talking to Owen. Let's have a little chat to him. Let's go for a risky move. Let's try goofing off. It's mm, don't know whether it's going to work but we'll see. Oh yes it worked. There we go. Excellent. I thought that would finish the event but it hasn't. Or has it? Yeah it has. There we go. That's finished the event. Begin a friendship reward. So we got some rewards for that. So I don't really want to begin a friendship there. I want to begin a romantic relationship. I'm not sure how we'll do that. We'll just see. I really enjoy getting to know you. Want to hang out again soon. Ah, okay, so what stories should we tell? So we can only do friendship ones. Okay, so let's just go with friendship ones. We can do geek speak. Sports buddies, BF. I feel like we should do BFFs forever. Two peas in an odd pod. Two new friends agree to disagree. Misery loves company. A pessimistic pal provides a unique take on life. Oh my goodness. Okay, let's. We're gonna have to do BFFs forever, I think. There we go. Fast friends. BFFs forever. So we've started this story between them. Feels like I've known you for years. Maybe we've met in another dimension or something. No way. That's exactly what I was going to say. How could I have started a romantic relationship? If you know that, let me know. How to make a difference between... Maybe it's like your flirty introduction. I don't know. Maybe it is, yeah, because you can do a confrontational introduction. Let's see, let's do a confrontational introduction and see if that means we can do like a nasty story with him. Oh yeah, look, begin a rivalry. So yeah, we shouldn't have done a friendly introduction with 
these two. I mean, let's they can be friends first off, I suppose. So let's just tell walks into a bar joke. Oh, let's just check our to-do list. We have got, we can collect that. What else do we need to do? A new look for a day. Show some ambition. We need to complete a hobby or career. Okay. We'll get that done. Let's do a quick hangout. A quick one is all we can do. 30 minute one. We'll do another hangout with them. Ask about hopes and dreams. Let's do that. Oh no, one of the objects is broken. You'll have to repair it to use it again. What's broken? This sofa? The sofa's broken. We need to repair it for four simoleons. That's no good. Let's hang out. We have completed a quest. So there are quests as we go along. Complete quests for great re rewards. Getting to know you. I'd love to spend time with someone new. There's room in my life for more. So we've completed that. We'll collect the prizes. There's no events at the moment. So the quest that we've got is complete a chapter of the career story and improve your home by completing a collection. So we can work on that as well whilst we're working on their friendship here. Let's have a look. How do we... Let's go into the shop and home item collections. So sleepy time. We can buy some of this stuff. We haven't got enough tickets to buy all of the things. Let me just show you where tickets are. In here, in your, in your infantry, is your tickets, your career order items, and your boosts. There are various different tickets, as you can see. There's home tickets, sim tickets, heirloom tickets, and then there's fashion gems, which is something completely different. But these tickets are earned, as you can see. You get home tickets from careers and hobbies, and you get sim tickets from relationships, and heirloom tickets from family events and then there's super ones and luxe ones as well that you get from special events and parties and various things so tickets are very important so I would say yeah you always want to try and get tickets when you can so I need to do more career stuff so I can get more home tickets to complete a collection so I would probably send one of these to work let's try oh no let's not try a risky thing yet Asking about his job. Confident enough to try a risky? Ooh, attempt clowning around. Okay, we'll give it a go. Is it going to work? Oh, I think I clicked on it, so I didn't see whether it worked. I don't think it did work. Oh, well. Never mind. I think maybe just one more thing, and then the event will be completed. Here we go. Quick hangout event completed. We've got some rewards, 45 relationship points, and we've got a sim ticket. Excellent. So, they're fast. Oh, we've leveled up. Level 5 to sim cash, living room objects, uh, wall decorations, floor decorations. Oh, we've got some new hair. I like those hair. Those hair? Does that make sense? Those hairstyles. Lots of new clothes. Excellent. Oh, hi, my name is Izzy, fabulous. Interested in custom fashions. Okay, this guy, I do know a little bit about this guy. He creates custom fashions, as he's just said, in like his little fashion store. Let's just go and check him out. Swing by my workshop in Parkside. I give you enough fashion gems to get started. So these are the fashion gems that I was just talking about in your infantry before. You're an undiscovered star. My designs will give you a chance to shine. So we'll head over there. Let's go to Parkside. Here's where the magic happens. Let's create something with oomph. Welcome to Izzy's fashion shop. Don't fight for the spotlight and make the spotlight fight for you. <laughs> Dazzling designs you won't find anywhere else. You can see what we've got 50 fashion gems. We just create a new design for 20 fashion gems and you get fashion gems. And I think by other sim players, actual players giving you stickers which i don't think we've come across yet but you give uh, stickers to people that you think are dressed cool or whatever and then you will win fashion gems from my understanding that may be wrong if somebody understands that more put that down below in the comments but it's something like that i think so let's anyway let's create a new design and see what we get hopefully we get something awesome for one of our sims to wear or oh, looks like we've got a dress or a skirt 
Happy Maxi Skirt of Benevolence we've created. And the little colours next to them, that's nice actually. Colours next to them are how rare they are. So the green one is common, the blue one is uncommon, and the purple is rare. So you can see that we've got like two common items and a uncommon there. You can retry the design if you want, by you can pin various ones and then retry. So if you like, say, you like the skirt, but you don't want the other things, you can retry it, but it does cost you more fashion gems the more items you pin. So we'll just claim that. I'm happy with that skirt. I like it. Go forth and strut. I want to see how my masterpiece looks on you. You must try it on. So I'm waiting. Okay, <laughs> let's get, let's change appearance of fairy. And in style, we've got Izzy's special creations. We'll stick that skirt on. Look at that. That's excellent. Oh, we've taken it off. That's excellent. Let's actually change her top because that looks wonderful. Yeah, there we go. I love it. Doesn't she look nice? I like it. Okay, so we worked on Owen Sheldon's and Fairy Dust's relationship slightly. I think, oh, look, we've got a few collections. Oh, actually, we just need to do a hobby or a career event, and then we've done the day's list, which is excellent. But I wanted to, before I do that, wanted to work on this relationship, the tainted love story with Fairy Dust and this guy. So if we click on socialise, will this guy come over? I don't exactly know. Oh, yeah, here he is. Okay, that took a while, but to continue your story, if you just click on socialise, and that will start... And so we can do, oh, we can do a mini staycation or an excited date. Let's do, so the mini staycation is a shorter event, I think. And then the excited date is a longer event. So let's go on an excited date because the, the rewards are greater. Need to go home for that. Marshall, was that his name? Marshall. Oh, this week's sticker contest themes are in. So this is the stickers that I was talking about. So this week we are giving out rewards for the coolest, hipsteriest and hottest sims, which might be you. Style your sim and get as many stickers as you can by the end of the week to earn special rewards. Remember, you get new stickers every day and you can use you can use to vote on other sims. Start appealing those stickers onto the sims you find most appealing. So there's the whole stickers thing. And what we'll do, I know we're in the middle of an event, but these blue little plum bobs above people's heads, these are real people's uh, sims, so real players' sims that they've created. We can give them stickers, so let's say they are fabulous. We give her a sticker. It's suggesting we give somebody else a sticker. Let's go ahead and give this one. You are hot. Give them a sticker. I hope that um, Fairy Dust gets lots of stickers. Every day we'll get more stickers to give out. Giving and getting noticed with stickers is a great way to earn fashion gems. So this is what I was saying, so it is how you earn fashion gems. That's good to know. Let's start this event. Anyway, discuss leisure activities. Someone's in our house. Hey, she looks kind of similar to Fairy Dust, doesn't she? Oh, make a move? Let's make a move, see what happens. Oh, nothing really happened. Fair enough. <laughs> Feeling a little more confident. Attempt a quick kiss. That's that's quite quite risky, that. Let's see what happens. Oh! He liked it. It was worth the risk. Let's go inside. Let's relax on the sofa together. Can we get Owen doing something? He is full. His energy is full. He should be doing something. I figured out, oh, actually, thank you, whoever left me a comment down below telling me how energy is renewed. So it does renew itself, but also you can renew energy by using objects within the game. So by using, yeah, so by using toilets and some nature call, you earn two energy. And maybe I'm sure bed as well. Yeah, take a power map, power nap, you earn energy. 
which is good to know. So thank you for whoever let me know that. Uh, let's attempt a poem reading. We're trying a few risky actions here. Oh, it's going well. <laughs> let's do some almost inappropriate touching. <laughs> That's funny. Let's try another risky. Disclose risky dream. Ooh. Oh no, we didn't like that. I was gonna say we've been very lucky with the risky actions. Never mind. Let's try something else. Let's bat our eyes at him. Now also, whilst I'm just here, in front of the either mailbox there, you can watch videos, just a little quick tip. Crazy his hair. You can watch uh, like adverts, 30 second adverts, which give you prizes, which I would definitely recommend that you do. It's pretty standard in kind of free games now that you can watch adverts to um, to get prizes or to get rewards and things, which is definitely always a good thing to do to just boost your resources. Oh, I'm running out of energy here. So, no, I'm not going to be able to do that. So we could use a cupcake to increase our energy and refill it. But I think what I will do is I'll try using... Let's take a power nap. I haven't used anything to increase... I haven't used any of the items, actually. Oh, she's taking a power nap. And... Yeah, there we go. Excellent. So I'm assuming... Oh, it's broken. I need to repair it. So yeah, so we can't use that straight away. Again, we have to wait. Oh my goodness, available in 23 hours. That's good to know. So the items, we can use the items to increase that energy, but they have got like a cooldown time. Confess explicit fantasy. It's risky. Oh. Yes. Okay, we still can't finish it. We've got 30 minutes left on that. Oh, no, there we go. We have finished it. Tell a lie. Nice job. Excited date rewards. So we got some XP, so we got some relationship points, and we got some sim tickets. You can see here that we watch a video ad to increase the rewards. If we watch a video ad, we'll get one more sim ticket, which I definitely recommend that you always do. I'm going to go ahead and watch that video now. There we go. So I've just watched the video and I've got an extra sim ticket, which is definitely worth doing. And oh, did they increase? I feel like their relationship increased them, but it didn't come up let me just go and have a little look uh, yeah so the tainted look it's 27 percent complete on the tainted love story i think i'm gonna go ahead and end this here i'm glad that i'm starting to understand the whole stories and just sort of how the game works in general thank you to anyone who has left me like little hints and things also i am creating a kind of how to play guide for the sims mobile i'll put a link down below in the description there's not much there at the moment but i'm hoping just to put loads of hints and tips and things on there and so yeah that will be down below if you want to go ahead and check that out but thank you so much for watching give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and i will see you soon for another video bye